Welcome. Welcome again. This is Jean-Claude Chavalm uh, with my regular weekly program. And um, we're covering a subject that is really on the heart of God. And also, I believe with all my heart, on the heart of so many people, especially young people today because they're looking at society completely falling apart. They're looking at their families divorcing and marriage has become some sort of a um, fearful thing to get into. The, you know, so therefore, there's less and less people wanting to commit to marriage. And the main reason for this is because we just don't know marriage the way God has designed it to function. We said that's the very first and most simple reason for marriage falling. We are not functioning it the way God designed it to. And so this, uh, this teaching this week and the previous three weeks and the next couple of weeks, three, four weeks, I don't know how long, uh, is designed to give us an understanding of marriage from God's perspective. So let's pray. Father, we pause now and we acknowledge your presence with us, my God. And I know that marriage is a big, big, big thing in your, in your heart because you have designed society to function upon a base of a good marriage and strong families and everything is falling apart today, Father. Even in Christian families, people that belong to you. So as we go through this teaching, we pray that you open our eyes, open the eyes of my brothers and sisters out there to, uh, to see light, to see truth, to see your purpose, and to look at their relationship in that light. So wherever there needs to be corrections, it can be understood and it can be made. All that, fathers, that ultimately we give you praise, we give you glory, and your name is glorified in the earth through your people. For your glory, I pray in Yeshua's name. Amen. Okay, so um, you already know what I'm talking about, so let's look at the screen anyway. The, my program is called A Perspective On, for those of you who are joining for the first time. A Perspective On, and, uh, and the subject changes every week, or every other week, or uh, whenever, whenever I get a new program, a new teaching. This one is called A Perspective On Marriage. It's not a big surprise because I just mentioned that in my opening statements. Uh, the past three weeks, we've looked at, uh, first week, we looked at uh, some statistics about marriage. Second week, we looked at some of the uh, uh, purposes that God has through the marriage. Last week, we uh, looked at some of the fallacies and the, comp the, 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 the problem that there is with marriages being made by the state. Uh, the difference between common law marriage and biblical marriage. And we started speaking about covenant versus contract. And today we're going to look at the difference between contract and covenant. So take a look at your screen and let's look at this from the perspective of God, how he looks at marriage and how man looks at marriage. First of all, Marriage, contract, or covenant. Some differences. Well, if marriage is a contract, and again, we, we described that last week, if marriage is a contract, then it's a promise that is made between two people without the presence of God and subject to cancellation. It's a contract. That's the nature of a contract. Contracts are submit, subject to cancellation when one does not fulfill his part or her part and that's what has given rise to so many divorces because the state got involved into into the marriage institution and <clears throat> to learn about that go back and watch last week's program marriage covenant however is an oath that is made between two people before god and it is forever forever binding um, we also looked at this last week uh, on the basis of the of the um, marriage. What did you, what is it? Common law marriage. That's what it was before common law marriage. It was like the covenant, the, the way God has actually made it to be. And so we are looking at an oath that's taken between two people 
and is forever binding as a covenant. Let's look back to the screen again. Now, the uh, contrast is based on mistrust of each other and their ability to perform the best they can. Uh, some people actually make a marriage contract before they get married, so they agree to within, with each other as to what's going to happen in case the divorce with the properties and all. But the marriage covenant is based on trust in God, not on trust to each other. They're based on trust in God and his ability to provide all that is necessary for the well-being of the couple. If you enjoyed this clip, please feel free to check out the full version in the link located in the description panel below. Please be sure to subscribe to our channel. You can also connect with us on Facebook and Twitter. As always, help yourself to the diverse array of teachings located on this YouTube channel or on our website at glc.us.com.